So I recently finished book five in my favorite detective series. Um, this book is called Troubled Blood. It's by Robert Galbraith, which is a pen name for J.K. Rowling of Harry Potter fame. What I love about these books is the main character is a London detective by the name of Cormoran Strike. Like a lot of lawyers, what we have to do is figure out what happened. And that's what he does. Now, what Cormoran doesn't have that we have as lawyers is, is the discovery power. So in civil litigation, there's depositions and there's notices to produce and there's requests for admission and requests for production of documents. In the, in the criminal realm, we have Brady versus Maryland and we have reciprocal discovery if we opt into it, both in the federal and the state level. But he doesn't have any of that. What he does is he figures out what happened either from public information or most of the time just going around and talking to people. So the book got me thinking a long time ago, a memory of when I was a third year law student. Um, I was interning for this law firm. They were a pretty big deal in criminal defense and they gave me the opportunity to help work up a case. They just handed me the file and said, do what you can with it. So I remember came, I came into the office over the weekend and we were going to start jury selection on Monday and I just took the file. I took the state's witness list. I took the police reports and everybody that was on the state's witness list. I called them, introduced myself and asked them what they knew about the case. And as a result of doing that, I learned something that the state didn't know. And I knew the state was going to call a witness that had that critical information. I made written reports of everything these witnesses told me and the lawyer I was working for took that information that I had given him used it and developed this critical piece of information during the course of the trial in a way that turned the case into an acquittal and it turned my weekend project into my first job as a lawyer. So I know the power and what uh, Cormoran Strike did in those books. Since I was a third year law student, social media has come along. And so not only will people talk to you, but you can look at Facebook and Twitter and some of the things that people just share with the entire world you'd be surprised how often witnesses talk about the case or reveal things about themselves, character traits that can be helpful to you in defeating your opponent's case and defending your own. And you'll be surprised if you go into stores um, or if you go to various businesses, how often people will just give you documents or give you access to CCTV footage if you just ask for it. So this is what I've learned to think about again from Cormor and Strike in this series of detective novels, that sometimes the best discovery doesn't come from the court, doesn't come from subpoenas, doesn't come from the Civil Practice Act or the discovery statute in various criminal cases, but it comes in just being friendly, reaching out to people and saying, hey, tell me what happened. I hope you'll think about that as you approach your cases, that sometimes you can get what you want simply by asking and then when people are resistant, if you already have certain information, it helps the legal process, the things you are entitled to, to work even better. I'm Scott Key. If you need any help on any of your cases or would like to hire me, you can call me at 678-610-6624. You can email me at scott at scottkeylaw.com or you can look at our website, scottkeylaw.com.